Okay, now uh, the song called Bless Are Those Who Love You by Marty Hagen. Uh, and also, there is, this is the uh, Psalm 128 by King David. Now, uh, there's not, a, not much I can say about this uh, song. Since this is uh, the uh, uh, responsorial psalm, the way we do in a church where I work, so we play the whole refrain as an intro. I think everyone in every church doing the same thing. There's not a whole lot uh, I would, uh, I changed, like, you know, harmony-wise. So, uh, well, maybe uh, in, a, in a verse, sometimes instead of playing this B flat with F in the bass, I just play B flat, uh, let's say for the second verse, just uh, to bring a little different color, some extra flavor, you know. Uh, now, what I like about this uh, publication, it's not just about this song, it's about uh, all this book. They write uh, this chord charts in a different key. I understand this is for the guitar to play using the capo on the third fret. But I, I use this all the time if because you know cantors they like to change the key or for different cantors you know I have to choose a different key. Uh, not what I really like to do but uh, this definitely helps to you won't avoid my brain being damaged by, you know, transposing to a, a, a many different keys. Now, I, I'm going to explain why this helps. Let's say if I have to transpose this for some low voice, voice higher, let's say an F sharp, it, it's okay to, choose, uh, to use this uh, the original key and F sharp this is very easy you know it's like it's just half step up and uh, you know in G if I need to transport it high in G that's also not really hard but let's say there is no uh, chord charts in D so and I have to transpose it in D flat measure. So when I have this, this is really helpful because I can now look at this key and this chord charts and transpose it really easy in D flat, right? So or let's say if I need to transpose that in uh, in E flat measure which would be a D sharp measure. So it's also easy. This is really helpful. In C measure, let's say in C measure. Yeah, I, I would definitely look here because it's, it's, it's only whole step down from D. So yeah. Of course, when you play it in D measure, looking here is, you know, you need to, if you, let's say you're playing the intro, you need to transpose this down. But, you know, a little training, a little practicing, and that's fine. But uh, let's say, you know, you never expect any cantor tell you ahead of time that they're going to sing this song uh in, in C measure or in D flat measure, so because they don't know that they they uh, they trying to figure that out when you rehearse with the 15 minutes or half an hour before the mess starts, so you don't really have time. So um, as I said, this is very helpful. Let's say they wanted in C measure. If there is no this 
uh, there is no chord chart in D major, then I would need to transpose that to a, a perfect fourth down. That would be really hard. But when I have D, uh, it's just the whole step down, right? <laughs> thing there's uh, one more thing I forgot to say about this uh, G diminished seventh right here at the end of the uh, refrain you know I don't play diminished seven I'm playing half diminished seven so I'm uh, since you know we have that F in the melody so and plus it's uh, it lasts for the whole, almost like for two measures, playing G uh, diminished seven, create this. So, I don't know, maybe it's just uh, an honest mistake they made, or who knows, but you know, I think this is too harsh. Half diminished would work better right here. Well, uh, that's it about bless are those who love you. Uh, stay in touch. Thanks for watching my videos and God bless.